Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand spanking new video on the Backrooms Boys channel. I'm your host, Burgly the Backrooms Boy, and today I want to go over two specific levels in the Backrooms. The Whiteout and the Blackout. Now, I did a poll over on the Community tab to see if you all wanted this video, and well, I think the answer is obvious. So here's the video for it. These two levels are pretty crazy, so buckle up and stay tuned to the outro portion of the video for a big announcement about the Brugly Summer Spectacular. Yeah, you heard that right. More on that later though. Let's get into the video. So on the Backrooms Wikidot, there are two enigmatic levels called the Whiteout and the Blackout. So I decided to go ahead and cover them both in one video, and I'll start with the Whiteout. This level is classified as a class 0 and is extremely safe with no entities. It looks like a house, but everything is perfectly white, hence the name Whiteout. This house seems like it's always having repairs done and it's always under construction, so you might run into some construction tools or stuff like that. The level is also really bright constantly and reflects off of the white surfaces. It's so bright in fact that when people come here, they claim to go temporarily blind when they immediately enter. Nice. Now since the level surfaces are all whites and the light is so bright, wow I'm rhyming here, it's possible that you could get lost inside the level and maybe forget where you came from. So it is recommended to only stay here for a really short amount of time. It's also important to not stay here for long since the doors to leave the level, to go back to level negative one, will disappear and reappear randomly. So you need to find them as fast as possible and don't dilly dally. Like I said earlier, there's no known entities here, but that was kind of a lie because there's one really mysterious entity called the maker that frequents this level. Although it is thought that he doesn't actually live here but he's been seen here multiple times. Apparently the guy can talk and he even refers to himself as the maker and he wears a white suit and sometimes a matching white hat too. Some witnesses say that he actually has a face, although they can't remember what the face looks like. So something weird's happening there. The guy can also walk right through walls with ease and is impervious to any physical contact or anything like that. It just goes right through him, but he is physically there because you can like touch him. No one knows where he gets his power from, or how he got to the back rooms, which makes it even more mysterious. But to be honest with you, he sounds cool to me. There's only been one recorded conversation with him by a Meg Explorer, and the Meg Explorer asked, what are you? And the maker answered, quote, whatever you think I could be, end quote, and then faded out of existence. That, what? That is cool. There aren't any big bases here, since it's kind of hard to live, you know, with being blind and all. But there are some small communities that meet here, and to enter this level, you have to go through a door on level negative one, but it's not known which door it is. And to exit the level, you have to go out the door that you came in from if it hasn't disappeared yet. That's the only problem. It disappears sometimes, and it'll take you right back to level negative one. So yeah, this level is a level completely blindingly white. Looks like a house, and there's a random guy in a white suit that appears randomly and fades away randomly. Nice. Now next up obviously is the blackout level, and it's considered to be a parallel level to the whiteout. It's classified as a class 5, so it's really dangerous, and has creatures, which completely contrast the whiteout. And it mirrors the whiteout level in its specific design and layout, but instead of it being perfectly white, it's an abandoned, nasty house covered in cobwebs and broken floorboards. Smilers and hounds are the main entities here that roam the halls, but sometimes random voices have been heard echoing down the hallways, so there might be something else down there. There's also been reports of random screaming, so uh, yeah. You know. The windows on this level can actually be looked out of, unlike the whiteout level, where if you look out those windows, you'll just see white. Here, you'll see a field at nighttime. You can't break the window to go out there and explore, but the field is the exact same location and thing you see out of every window, so it might be a fake thing, but we don't know. Sometimes wanderers report looking out those windows and seeing tall shadows with white eyes walking around, which is scary to say the least. 
The level also has a level exclusive entity called the Bride. She looks like a pale ghost in a wedding gown and normally just follows people around the level. She sometimes heard and even been seen crying in random rooms. So that's kind of sad. The maker entity from the whiteout seems to have some sort of connection to the bride because there's pictures of them together on the blackout level, but he's never been seen physically here. So like, maybe they're not able to get to each other. I don't know. There's no basis here and every group that comes here hasn't made it out to tell the tale because it's really dangerous from the entities. And the only way to enter the level is to go really deep into the whiteout until you find a gray door that opens up to the blackout, and when you go through it, it shuts and locks itself. And there really isn't even a confirmed exit, so it looks like you're doomed to wander the Smiler and Hound infested halls with the ghost bride crying lady following you. Sounds fun to me. And yeah, that is it for the duo of the whiteout and the blackout levels. Pretty cool polar opposites when it comes to how safe they are and how they look. I don't know, I thought I made an interesting video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Do leave a like if you enjoyed though. Anyways, thank you for watching. Until this point, I do want to talk a little bit about the Brugly Summer Extravaganza. I actually want to do something like I did for Brugmas, but with more levels. So for Brugmas, I uploaded every day in December from the 12th to the 25th, going over the first 13 levels. So for the summer, I thought the entire summer I would just go through levels like levels 13 through 50 or something like that kind of like a marathon in a way, but I do want to cover the first 50 levels before fall, so I feel like that's a good way to do it. Let me know if that sounds interesting to you. Obviously, that wouldn't be the only thing. I'd be doing other Backrooms things, and maybe even some non-Backrooms related things to throw in there randomly. I'm gonna be testing some stuff out. Obviously, the Backrooms is not going anywhere anytime soon, but who knows? Brugley might have something up his sleeve. And yes, I just said that in third person. I'm now going to leave. On top of that, I'm going to be releasing merch this summer as well, t-shirts for sure, and most likely stickers as well, and I'll tease that design for the t-shirt one day randomly over on the Discord server, which just hit 6k members, wow, so go join if you don't want to miss that. Also, I might be in contact with a brand like U2's or Makeship to make a Brugly Entity plush doll. I don't know if you guys would be interested in that, so if you're listening to this, comment down below if you'd be interested. I'll make a full poll later, but this is just like a preliminary thing. If that idea even sounds cool, just let me know down below. Thank you to my patrons and channel members for everything, and thank you all for everything, and just every, just thank you so much. I'm excited for the summer and to keep pumping out videos for you guys. Hopefully you're all ready. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later.